The link between intermittent fasting and good health has been noticed for a while. Intermittent fasting means going about 8 to 12 hours without food, but in some cases a little longer. And recent studies have begun to make clear the connection between fasting and longevity. And it's creating a lot of buzz, so we here at Spartan want to tell you a bit more about it. I'm Dr. Nada, and I created the Integrative Health Program at Mass General Hospital, and I'm the founder of Sage Tonic, an innovative natural treatment and wellness toolbox. Welcome to this episode of Spartan Health. There are some obvious reasons that connect fasting to good health. The most obvious is weight loss, but there's many others. Increasing your metabolism. While it's true that long-term fasting can decrease your metabolism, short-term fasting can have the opposite effect and perhaps up to 14%. It promotes brain health by supporting an increase in the growth of neurons and enhances memory performance. It also teaches you to know when you're hungry. Going without food often provokes a desire to eat that sometimes is more psychological than physical. Fasting 8 to 12 hours helps people distinguish between real hunger pains and food cravings. Now, here are some less obvious but equally important reasons that connect fasting to longevity. Recent academic studies have people buzzing about the health benefits of occasional fasting. See, as we age, our cells' ability to process energy decreases. This can lead to aging and diseases associated with it. A recent academic study has pointed to the reason behind this phenomena, and it involves mitochondria, and I'll tell you what they are in a minute. But what it does is it focuses on their role in breaking down fat and modulating fat metabolism, which is important in keeping cells healthy. So mitochondria are powerhouse structures in your cells, and they're involved in releasing energy. They help to break down fatty acids and carbs. They work in networks that remain fused in a healthy state, and in an unhealthy state, they're not fused, and in, they're in what's called a fragmented state. So these fused states of mitochondrial networks help to maximize their efficiency, and it's where you want your cells to be. But you know what can help keep those networks running well? You guessed it, fasting. The good news is that effective fasting doesn't involve long periods of difficulty and self-denial. It might cause a little discomfort as you're adjusting to a new schedule of eating. But as we know, changes in habits often require some adjustments. And remember, anything worth striving for requires a little struggle and a little effort. The only things this kind of fasting requires is to not eat for a little while and to resist your cravings. But the benefits of this effort might really surprise you. You may have seen Joe fasting. You may not have to do it to the extremes that he does, but we want you to know about it, to know what it is, and we want to help you learn more. So please check out our show notes at the end of the episode where we provide a host of articles and medical links and resources so you can learn and read more. Thanks for listening to Spartan Health. I'm Dr. Nada, and I'm here every Sunday as part of the Spartan Up podcast family. Spartan Up has new episodes almost every day of the week. We give you tips, information, and tools to help you stay on track. And we have interviews with inspiring high achievers every Tuesday with Joe and his team. So at Spartan, we're here for you. We're your partner in resilience training for mind, body, and spirit. Thanks for listening.